Hi everyone! Well, it's good to be back on YouTube again. Today, it's a nice and beautiful warm Thursday evening around 6 o'clock on the 24th of April. So today's video, we got some crazy new additions from my channel and most of them are pretty new and I never cared for them before. So it'll be pretty sweet to make actual Mythbuster videos on these ones. So, I went to Tarantula Canada and I reduced some of my Avic Ava collection. Half of them belong to Rose, the owner of Marcus the Mature Male. And I kept some of my half. I kept about 22 and I sold about 25. So I still have the remaining inside my bin here. Uh, still for sale if everyone's interested in them. Uh, sorry, only Canada. Uh, since I don't have permits to ship to the US or UK or overseas. So I'm actually going to experiment this uh, enclosure. I'm going to be keeping these guys communal and see how well they do together. So I'm going to be putting in a little cork bark around to let them climb on. It is really cool and really interesting. So, And again, I'm going to experiment to see uh, the right conditions for these AVIC AVICs. So Tarantula Canada got a huge import list, so I'll tell you the species that really caught my interest. Well, one of them is this one right here. Uh, Scolopendra hispanolia giant. Ouch, $700. So this is what the specimen looks like. And this is the one that they have for sale. As you can probably see, it is a very massive centipede. So if you know from my videos, I do have a Scolopendra alternans. The size of this particular scent was pretty much double the length of my alternans and three times as fat. No kidding. And she only tells me that this is only half grown. So you can just imagine and fathom to see a centipede of that caliber. But 700 bucks is a little bit out of my price range, so <laughs> I didn't get it. Uh, see, they also got some really nice uh, s scorpions here. Um, also, real true true spiders that are really cool, uh, like Capunius uh, salinae, Erisus walcanari, which is the Greek ladybird spider. You can see it's really pretty. That's the female. That's the male on the right. Uh, they got Hoaconia insignis, which is a huntsman spider. Or wandering spider, Lactrodectus salselti, which is one of the New Zealand uh, black widows. They got this one, yes, Luxo celsus leda, which is the Chilean brown recluse spider. Yeah, this is the one that causes necrosis, flesh eating bacteria. Uh, this one here, Oleo species Sumatra. Uh, Sicarius terosus. Oh, you probably know I got that one because I've been eyeing on it for years and they finally got into their price list. And as well as they got some other nice uh, teas that I didn't really get that much like this one here. Uh, Zenitha species Megascopula, which is a pretty interesting uh, specimen at that. Uh, they got, for example, um, Samopolis Lagenbrucheri, which is a half inch for $90, and so forth. So, I'll post the link on the video description. You just have a look and see what, you're, uh, what you like. If you want me to get more spiders, uh, just let me know which ones you want me to get and make videos of. And they even got the Chytopelma olivicem, uh, which is from Israel. Alright, curious to see what I got? Let's go have a look. Alright, this is the very first tea that I purchased. I got this one at a super, super good deal. Since three years ago, I paid a whopping $215 for this spider. And this is a little inch and a quarter. Poclotheria hanuma vila semica, which is the Ramesh Warm Ornamental. Now, everyone knows from my YouTube videos, I still have another one. Uh, this is a three-year-old specimen. Oh, no, that's my fasciata. Oh, I don't know if it's labeled. 
as you can probably see, they're pretty much around the same size. Holy cow. Yeah, this is a Fina. I'm hoping that I could get a sex pair of male and female because I really like to breed these and get them into the hobby so they're not so critically endangered. So that was one tea I got and this is the last tea I got as well. Uh, this is a Haplopalma obostriatum rachiburi which is the dark form of the H. albostriatum, which is commonly known as the Thailand zebra. Uh, if I can find that little guy, if, I'm not sure if you can actually see, the camera's not focusing very well. There's that little, little speck right over here. Ah, oh, there we go. That's it, half an inch. Assuming it's going to be pretty easy to care of. Um, my H. lovatum is actually doing really well. It's about an inch right now. No problems with apple palma uh, slings so far. And it's my first year in raising them. Okay, now this one here. Yeah, why not? This is a Reseda longi peeps. Uh, this is a African olive centipede. I wanted to get a centipede and... I wanted something really cool and really cheap, so I decided to get this one right here. This is about an inch. Uh, they don't really get that big, probably like four and a half to five inches is pretty much a typical one of them. Uh, if I had a picture, I'll show it to you. Uh, yeah, actually right here. Yeah, that's what they actually look like. They're kind of an olive color. I guess that's why they call it that. Cool. Probably the same size as my alternans currently. So, not bad. Uh, this is the pester it's not because that's the largest one. Okay, now this one here is the Iris Walkinari red color form. So this is the Greek ladybird spider. Now, I thought for sure that this specimen was going to be very small, but you'd be surprised because these are actually quite large, like three and a half to four inches is pretty much the average uh, leg span of a female. Now these are non-potent species, they're not going to kill you if they bite you. Uh, they're pretty slow, so they're pretty good for a beginner and supposedly very easy to keep. So. I'm going to have fun with this one, and you can see uh, she made a little webbing in here, and I think I'll call her uh, Callie. Yeah, a lot of my students are Greek, so <laughs> I'm sure they'll appreciate uh, their local spider. Awesome. My first European one. And it's, it's good to, you know, diverge and expand your horizons of tarantulas and other true spiders. Now, this is the one I've been waiting for and I've been hunting for for many, many years. And this is the second most dangerous spider in the world, so I'm going to be very cautious of how I interact with it, how I feed it and whatnot. A very, very ridiculously easy uh, spider to keep. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually see this one kind of hiding. Now this is my Sicarius terosus, which is the six-eyed sand spider. As you probably can see. A little, little weedy, tiny one. And they get up to having a four to five inch leg span, so it'll be pretty fun. I'll put this on sand as it grows, and it'll be pretty funny to watch it bury itself up. And you know, it's kind of nicknamed the cocaine spider because I think there were some several YouTube videos on it, and the guy mistitled it, and you can see it trying to dig himself in white sand, and for some reason it enjoyed it, so it, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a very fast spider and very venomous. It's 
in relation to the brown recluse spiders, so they can cause necrosis, which essentially means uh, flesh-eating bacteria. So it is a spider that you really shouldn't try if you're a beginner. So since I am 20 years experienced, I and I'm taking a, a good risk to try to get one. Hang on, phone. And the piece de resistance is the Cupianius Soleil, which is the American Wandering Spider that I got for $30. It's an impressive spider. It's around, I would say, a good two inches in leg span. It'd be really cool to see it eat on my 115th feeding video. It's a nice spider. It gets to having a four to five inch leg span. It is a stinid, so very similar in family to the Funicha ferra and the Viridaceous species Madagascar. But I have some news on those Madagascar spiders in my last Mythbuster video. They're not really that potent in venom as well as this one. You just have to be watching out for these ones because these are extremely fast. And I, as I expect with my Madagascar spider, I can expect this one to be a superb eater. Sweet. All right, everyone, so hope you like my new additions of the Capunius Salini. Ooh, you can even see the eyes. Barely. The American Wandering Spider. Two inch confirmed female. Haplopalma albostriatum. The Ratchaburi form, which is the dark form. Sicarius terosus, the six side sand spider. Residia longi peeps, which is the Trinidad. No, the African olive centipede. Eurusus wall canari, red color form, which is the Greek ladybird spider. And finally, last but not least, my all-time favorite pokey. Well, one of my favorites, actually. <laughs> um, Para is my favorite. Uh, the Poclotheria hanuma vila semica, rummish worm ornamental. All right, everyone, enjoy, and stay tuned for a new feeding video this coming weekend. Stay tuned.